I thought of myself by the time I was 17, 18 years old and I got into art school that, you know, I was gonna be a left wing, you know, radical. Cowboys didn't exist. Their right wing was kind of like a leap of faith. Some people, you know, become born again Christians. Well, I found Sergio Leone. Whoa, this isn't like any Western ever. I had become so enamored with what Sergio Leone was doing that I made a conscious decision to start making Western subject matter. I do revere, to an extreme degree, Western art. I study it from all angles, you know, I mean, I have the old pulp Western magazines, I've got the old Zane Grey novels, and I've got all the old movies, I even have silence, but I can't help, you know, just throwing a hand grenade in it. Woo, Billy, what did you just do? I could still retain my identity and make Western paintings that didn't compromise my integrity. I'm actually called the granddaddy of contemporary Western art, or pop Westerns would have been labeled. I like the iconography. I like the iconicness. It can even have tragedian qualities. It can represent a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Sand dunes up against red rock, mesas, canyons, with the occasional lonesome cottonwood tree. I like the aloneness. I don't know, that's what you know, the West represents to me. The way I like to build my images sometimes is to silhouette, you know, the iconic character or even somebody on horseback or whatever it is, but it automatically sets it up to a more dramatic level. And then I start letting my light hit objects, the mesas, the sky, whatever, in the mid and background. And all together, when you're using raking light, like at early light in the morning or at dusk, you're gonna get a far more dramatic and structured or an architectonic kind of image than you would otherwise. I've got pages, just notebooks, filled full of just different captions, and then eventually I put them together with a specific image. I have a very specific irony to the captions, or satire, so there's political and social content. I already had an art career established, and I was showing internationally when I decided to start real doing. never talked about who I was ever. I just came there, I wanted to be accepted on the same level, on the same terms that existed in that rodeo world. Could I ride a saddle bron? Could I ride a bareback bron? That was the contemporary West that I fell in love with. I've got a stack of buckles and I've got a stack of uh, saddles that I've won. So I did get to live out that fantasy. I've been thinking about whether the West has been losing its, you know, resonance for years. But because I have a different kind of approach to Western art, I can still reach to different generations and I can still connect and make something that's relevant enough for them to appreciate. I hope it just keeps going, as long as I'm alive. <laughs>